And hello, hello, welcome back to the Gay Racing Podcast bonus episode. Today we are talking about 2024 NASCAR paint schemes and joining us today, Zach and Alex here as always, but our good friend Davin, you may know him as Drive Through, who's a little bit of an expert on paint schemes. Hello, Davin. Welcome to the Gay Racing Hi. Podcast. Thanks for having me on. I'm uh, any opportunity to talk about paint schemes, good or bad, I'm here for it. I'm so oh, yeah. excited. Well, we got some good ones to talk about today. We got some not as slay ones, not as slay ones. So we're gonna go through all these paint schemes, Alex. We got some slay ones. We're gonna say if we like it, it's slay. If we don't like it, it flops. If it's just kind of in the middle, we can say it's mid, or perhaps it's not giving anything, right? So, and I wanted to get us started. I want to get us started with. Um, the modern classics, in my opinion, of um, just like modern NASCAR, like these paint schemes, they don't change from year to year. And they've just like, I feel like they've really aged well. Like, do you guys agree with like me saying that? I would personally say so. Yeah, I like all three I of these. I would say two out of three aged well. Dropping the plain yellow Logano car is questionable. Cause I feel like the the scallops were so iconic yeah. with Joey that he ran them for like literally a decade, and now it's just like it's there's just, some red on it. It's kind of boring. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, especially side that. by side it. with the the loves car, which I think is actually really cool. Oh, especially yeah. uh, a couple times last year, they started wrapping the side skirt, which I guess mm -hmm. they didn't do this year, but I thought yeah. it looked great. Uh, but I don't know. The Logano thing's not doing it for me. Yeah, no, I get that because this is a lot more simpler, but I've really warmed up to the Loves car and I'm such a big fan, of course, of the Hendrick cars scheme for obvious reasons. Of course. But of course. it is just an aged classic, like in my opinion, or it's just a modern classic rather. But yeah, so those are just some, I just wanted to start it off with that. Now we're going to go through some individual paint schemes, starting off with the number one, Ross Chastain, his big new primary sponsor, Bush Light. Bush, they always have great paint schemes. I say this is a sleigh. The colors on it are great. Slay. It makes me think of Bush Absolutely Light. Absolutely sleigh. A hundred percent. And I love that they sort of put a twist on it. Like it's not just the Harvick car. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit brighter. They got a few more mountains. More white. Uh, yeah. 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 It pops. I love it. Yeah. It's a, I it's like a... where they put Jockey. I like what the closer up mountain to put the associate good. sponsor down there. That was, yeah, that's on the cute. quarter panel too. It yeah. works really well. Yeah, adding a little bit more white to differentiate it, dif differ differentiate it from Harvick is really smart. I like when I like when sponsors and brands do that. Um, this next mm. one's like one of my favorites. That is, we've had it for a few years now, but this Freightliner car, this like Tron-looking scheme, I've always really liked. I just don't know if it represents their branding all that well. So when when they first did it, I think it was 2019 with Cindric. Mm -hmm. They're advertising the E Cascadia. They're like the Freightliner, like electric trucks, uh, and it right. was sick. And then I guess so they were just like, "Hey, it's a cool design. We'll just put our regular logo on it." And it's better than what they used to run because like Freightliner's been on a whole bunch of different cars back in the day, but they were always just like plain white or plain yeah. black. I think it's cool yeah. that they're like, "Hey, people like this design. It looks cool. Let's keep using it." I think that makes sense. My favorite version of it is the pink one that they pink run in around October. Yeah, I think that one's a bit even better than the blue. Like it's it's fantastic. Yeah, it also translated really well going from the Gen Six to the next gen. I'm a fan. I like it a lot too. Yeah, yeah. it's it's one of my more favorites of the the generation. Even though it's kind of boring now, but that's all right. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> what a transition. I love yeah. when we put faces on hoods. <laughs> Can we get a zoom in on the face? Is that possible? I don't know. I'd f I feel like I'd break my computer if I tried to do that. That's fair. This is, this is great. I mean, for real, I love the color of the car. I love a yellow car, right? You can't miss it. The texture like of the yellow here on the front, like the graphics they got going on is great. I just don't know why they feel the need to put a face on the car. You can put a face on the car, but you have to account for the like the Camaro like hood bulge <laughs> and they uh, they did not consider how they this did not. look from this angle. Oh, like this is great. I And it's like, it, I can't even see their logo like from this angle either yeah. because the face is yeah. taking up too much room. Well, a lot of it has to do with the, the, the big hood vents that we have yeah. on the next gens. And it's like, you can either put your logo above it or below it if you don't want it to interfere with it. And if you put the logo above it, it's just really hard to see it. from a low angle. Yeah. Some teams have gotten good about dealing with the hood vents, I've noticed. Like, they just don't care about them anymore, or they 
Yeah. I think they might yeah. start wrapping the like I think they you can kind of see here they kind of wrap the vents it looks like. Yeah, and it's like some teams will do it or some teams won't. Like some teams will leave like a little like the carbon strip there, but some teams will wrap it. So, yeah. I don't know, hit or miss. It's yeah. a little bit of a flop I, for I me just because like... of the face. Yeah. If they wanted to have a face on there, it should be on the side of the car yeah. in front of the wheel. I, I I don't like it on the hood. It does not look good at all. And it's not the same as like when they did like the deodorant with like Corey LaJoy. I don't forget which Old brand Spice. that was. Yeah. Old Spice. Yeah. Like that was different. I think that was like a moment in time where that was funny. <laughs> that was a meme. And that was great. Cool, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But like this just doesn't work for me. It, it, it's a flop. Hands down. Yeah. I can agree with that. The Valvoline cars. So Valvoline went back to like their, well, their old branding, but their new, but it's their new branding. Well, I don't like, know <laughs> what Valvoline is doing with their branding. So they have this like squarish kind of logo that they've been using for, yes. it feels like forever. And then they switch to their older, like kind of like classic looking, looking yeah. text in the circle. And that was great. And now they've switched back to this. I don't. It's a, yeah, it frustrates understand. me. Because they still have the you know original how much money. Yeah, go ahead. It Alex. costs to rebrand, and they just keep doing it. Like, do they are they just burning money? It's like, like I, what are they doing? I, I don't know. I don't know if it was like a special like anniversary thing or what. But uh, well, their branding was the original motor oil. I think that's why they did it. Because it used to be like on the side big, but now it's just like on its own license car, kind of at the bottom left on the quarter near the, you know, what's what's it called? Yeah whatever that area of the car is the side walker pan the door whatever yeah whatever yeah. um but it's not on the 24 at all and the 24 is just like i need to see it on track because i don't know what kind of gray why that is, is. Gray? why why is like it gray. gray why is it gray i love the light blue i reason? think it's cool but why is it gray and some of these shapes in the front just feel really random that's so it was, the, the, it was the, white the, like, instead of gray with like yellow numbers i think that'd be kind of cool i think i did a photoshop of that when it came out i forget i'll have to go digging for it but those shapes around the headlights are so blackbeard design he always does that he did it on the uh the old like 95 casey kane cars a bunch he loves yeah. putting like a little mask around yeah. the headlights eyeliner eyeliner for race yeah. cars <laughs> yeah <laughs> and i kind of like it in opposite colors of the valvoline v i think it's kind of yeah, cool. cool i think the 20 f I, well the five i feel like is a downgrade low-key from like what they had to, to be had honest some, there's some really good collars and Valvoline cars, but the Byron ones were always like kind of. I did not eh. like the Byron ones at all. So it's like the 24 to me is mid, and honestly, the five to me is mid too. I just, I just don't like it that much. It, it was. I like the five. I. I it's I all right. Five so it's not as good as like. I feel like the, the old fives are like all timers. This is still really good. I'll still give it a slay. Yeah. I, it's like there's something kind of classic about it. Yeah. I'm Fair like dabbing on that. I, I still like the five. The 24, I'm giving a flop just because, like, if they just made the car white and the numbers, like, that blue, it would be amazing. And they didn't, and I don't know why. Yeah. If the gray is more silverish, which it probably won't be, then I'll probably like it more. But I don't know. We'll have to see it on track, though. It might look different on track. Um, this Sunny D cars never miss, do they? They're so good. So good. I mean, good. you've got bright orange and yellow and blue, and it just it pops. Like you see that in a pack of cars, you immediately know that's the Sunny D car. Yep. Huge logos on it. I love it. They've always been great. Like when I think this of flows perfectly. When I think of like yeah. the old days of NASCAR, when there's like cars with like the sponsor a sponsor on for 36 races, I feel like Sunny D needs to be one of those sponsors. Like it's just such an iconic looking paint scheme that like I wish we could see every week if you know the sponsor economy was better but yeah this is great yeah. slay no argument there <laughs> yeah 100 yeah, percent, definitely yeah cool um the chili's car for Corey the joy there's just something missing here for me yeah. and i think it's the paint scheme it's just like i feel like there's not much of a paint scheme here i think it's the white i don't i wish it wasn't white it's giving arca team that didn't want to pay to wrap the whole car and yeah. just left it white. Yeah. And also yeah. QR codes. Why are we still putting QR codes on race cars? <laughs> but the bit they did was actually really funny. I thought their social videos were like genuinely fantastic. I, I was like super impressed with Corey LaJoy's acting because I feel like usually you put a NASCAR driver oh, yeah. and ask them to like act in a commercial. They're just kind of flat. But Corey oh, was like, yeah. he was he was giving it. It was great. Well, I'm glad Corey LaJoy's good at something. Larry Mack in one of those commercials. 
Larry well, nice. trying to scan the QR code on Corey's <laughs> suit. That was great. I didn't see that one. That's great. Oh, it was awesome. Oh, I just realized the outline of like the the Chili's logo at the front looks a little like phallic. The, I mean, the Chili itself is a little bit. It's out there. That might get cut out. I did out. find it interesting. Yeah. In the uh, in the in car camera, they didn't, they didn't have a single sticker that said chilies on it. They had like twenty little pepper stickers all around, but they didn't have just the piece of text that says chilies. Yeah. I to me, it's just kind of it's a bit of a flop. I think when I think of chilies, I just I don't know. I expect more. It's all right. It's just not giving anything like, to me. The front of the car could, yeah. could have some kind of design on it. You know, like maybe yeah. more of what's going on on the side or something. I don't know. It just needs a little bit more. So, um, the reason I put this one here is because this is, this is just like the, the William Byron Exalta, like base just reused, yeah. right? Am I going crazy? So I don't know what is going on at Spire, but they are obsessed with this William Byron car. Their, their Gainbridge truck uses the exact same base, which everyone knows is the, you know, Exalta one from mm -hmm. last year. This thing uses that base. They had another car, a ran at Daytona, which uses the same design. They use it a lot. <laughs> but I guess I shouldn't be surprised because Spire also kind of just took Furniture Row's number and was like, hello, we're going to use this now. Wait. So it's, <laughs> it's such a that. weird mishmash of just bits <laughs> that are <laughs> genuinely sick that they stole from other teams. That's actually so kind of funny. <laughs> I would love to know what... I don't know who did it, but whoever like designed the Exalta scheme, I'd love to know what they think of this. Like just their design living on as a bunch of other things on another team. Yeah. And I really hope that Byron runs the Exalta car like in its original thing at some point this year, just to see the two side by side, because it would be hilarious. Yeah, it really would. Yeah, the scheme itself is, I mean, it's, it's whatever. It's, it's good, but also like make your own design. Like, what is yeah. this? Yeah. I don't even know what the sponsor is, to be honest. Um, this one, I think, is really nice. I, I would give this a slay because the colors are bright. None of the scheme really feels empty. It's not too complicated, but there's still areas with like really cool like textures, like um, this part back here, which was like, I, what, like the radar looking thing. I think it's pretty cool. I'm going to I'm going to fight right. you on this one. OK, I'm giving this a flop. This Why? would be awesome if it was like 2008 and Windows Vista just came out. <laughs> But it's yeah. it's so like yeah. gradienty and like like the little neon circles. There's nothing like modern or exciting about no. it. And it <laughs> Come on, putting, this putting is the, very like, 2008. Surgeon, it really is. The Surgeon General warning just slapped on the door. I didn't even notice that actually. Like... Hilarious. <laughs> Fair I enough. just well, I don't know. It's a little bit stuck in the past for me. Hmm. I mean, but at least yeah, the long so bar cool is kind of that does take a lot, <laughs> which I guess like they have to do. But yeah, still. Yeah. Well, I like it. OK. <laughs> <laughs> um, This Napa car, I feel like this is a bit controversial, like what people think about this. Alex, you go first. What do you think about this car? I don't know if it's really giving anything. Like, I think it's better than what they tried adapting the original Napa 9 to, but it's it's whatever. Like, I think it's kind of forgettable. I do like that it's there's more blue than white again. Yeah, that's, feel like that's my best compliment to the car, too. What do you think, Davin? Like, the Chase Elliott Napa 9 is always held under a microscope because it's such like an iconic sponsor, and they're on the car like almost every week. And I... It there's more blue, which I agree I like, but I would love to see just something a little blue and yellowy, kind of like an old Chase Elliott car. Because I even think of like Martin Truex Jr. in 2013 when he ran the 56, and it was just plain blue yeah. with the yellow up the side. That was gorgeous, and I think like right. if they could just do something more in that sense, I, like they put yellow on the side, but then they surround it in white for some reason, so it doesn't like pop at all and i have yeah. my own qualms about the outlines that they it's just like one simple anyway. little arrow like going horizontally across the car it's kind of weird and i i kind of like, like they the wanted to but... it's like they wanted to separate the number and the sponsor and didn't know how else yeah to do that. yeah without it looking plain 
I don't know. There's other yeah. ways to make a simple scheme. I like it. I like how they went in a different design direction in what is kind of like a rebuilding year for Chase Elliott. I think that's cool. Like, yeah, even yeah. though if it probably had nothing to do with that. And I like again, I like how it's mostly blue. It's the first time they've majorly changed the nine Napa scheme. So I respect that. I just think they can they can do better. Like I give this kind of yeah. I, I, it's kind of a flop, but mm, I don't know. I still kind of like it. So yeah. I guess it's mid. Yeah. You know, they could do better. Um, this Hooters car, the renders looked awful to me because like the orange looked a little like muddy. But on the track, it looks really good, I think. I'm surprised. I really like the renders. I like it. The orange on the renders wasn't... It, it looked... It didn't look but like it was this like bright shiny. orange. shiny. I don't think but metallic I, yeah. orange is what Hooters should go for. I don't know why. I understand. They can't really, like, wrap that onto a car. I think this is great. Yeah. I think it might be one of the best Hooters cars, period, honestly. I think mm -hmm. that this is sick. You know, uh, they changed the arrangement for the, the the night owl or whatever they call it. Yeah, I wish they cool. won't change the Hooters car that much. Like, I I like the classic looking Hooters cars, the the ones that are white and orange, because obviously yeah, it calls back the to orange the across the bottom. Yeah. yeah, I think there's nothing wrong with that, but this is fine. I mean, just stop changing it every year. <laughs> it's yeah, a good exactly. modern take. I like it. If they could stick with this for a while, yeah. I'd be happy. Yep. Anything to add, Alex? No, I agree with everything you guys said. Okay. I I do like the white and orange one a bit more that Chase had at one point. Yeah. This is good. Well, Alex, I have your favorite paint scheme coming up next. This oh, one. no. This what? Blah. It's Casey Boo. Kane with the blue number, bro. <laughs> like, listen, Blah. so if, for anyone no. not aware, Alex and I have this whole, like, debate rivalry thing where I really like the Lumar cars, like, back in the past with, like, Alex Bowman with like the the yellow, orange, and red. It had like a bright blue number. I thought it looked kind of cool, right? It was colorful. Why is it blue? What, like what, Why? what is the obsession? Why I is do have to kind of blue? agree with you guys. I don't really understand why they have a blue number anymore. I don't get it. And they've always done it. They have like stuck to it over however many years. It has to be blue. The number is always blue. The car has been white. It's been orange. It's been, now it's red and the number's blue. Yeah. Makes no sense. And what's with the red? Like, where's the orange? Where did it go? It is like giving massive Casey Kane 2004, and therefore I think it's actually kind of cool. And I think they did a great job of using the space on the side of the car to fill the sponsor and the space on the on the front. Just that with a white number would be pure Casey Kane, and it yes. would be gorgeous. Yeah. And I I would adore it if it was the white number. It'd be very I, Casey Kane. Yeah. I talked already about the outlines on the nine, but the fact that it's got like a little black outline and then white around it, this thing on TV, oh, as yeah, with every bad. year with the nine, it just it just looks like a blob. Like you cannot really tell bad. what number it is because they insist on putting two different color outlines on it no matter what. Yeah. And I it, feel like like either go thick black outline, like on, on like imagine that white bit is black too, that would be good for having a blue number, but still. Yeah. White number would make it crazy yeah i'm over the lumar schemes alex has won the war i'm over it like thank god but then if you put a white number on it it just looks like a it's the same thing they said about the denny hamlin's brake plus car which we'll get to in a minute okay. this car but with that one when we get to it that the font was weird this, i feel like the white we'll number lumar would be fine this car is so cool only because it just looks like a danica patrick car can i yeah. say something yes Whoever, they must have, they must have considered it. There is no way you design a car for Noah Gragson and put like it never even happened on the front of it. <laughs> it's, no, it is literally on the nose of the car, like it never even happened. His Are fourth you serious? Race back. His fourth race back. Oh my goodness. At least they didn't oh, run the, out the rest flash. of the design is cool. I like the Danica vibes. I like the, the green and orange. It, it, it's distinctive. But like, come on, we got we gotta have a little bit of a little bit of awareness. Yeah. <laughs> You're fine. Oh no. But I, I have my own beef with Stuart House Racing. <laughs> yeah, I think everyone does. Oh, at you're, this one point. You're, <laughs> you're one of the haters. You're one of their haters, huh? <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe I don't like real and raw, like they do. Well, I think it's uh, a slight so... thing. It's a I good thing. I think it's game. fun. 
These are cool colors. I always like the GoDaddy green and orange car. Cool. Yeah, I hope they run it more this year. I hope that wasn't just a one-off. Um, however, <laughs> this was too colorful, so... <laughs> I love test cars. The paint scheme's not loading. The list. What's, what's going on with this? I don't get it. The fact that you went to the effort to get these, like, these geometric-looking, like, you know, polygons on the side. Yeah. Or whatever. So I immediately dogged on this on Twitter because, obviously, like, you have such a simple concept with rush truck centers that they've been on Stuart Haas cars for so long and they look great because it's a bright yellow car with the black and the red. It looks awesome. It does. And then they put this out here and people were in my replies being like, oh, well, it looks like the trucks on the road. Like, it's supposed <laughs> to look like that. And like, okay, it still looks bad on a race car. Like, like this is not a service yeah. truck. That's not a good, like, <laughs> that's, I hate, oh, when, I hate that argument when it still so looks like yeah. a product. Why do their trucks look like that? That's bad design on the trucks then. Or maybe I don't know. Maybe they don't. They don't want to wrap the whole truck, so they can just leave it white. But like, it's a race car. You're wrapping the whole thing. Yeah. Make it yeah. look good. You're trying to. Yeah, you're trying to catch attention. This is not catching attention. This looks unfinished. Like it's just paying hundreds of thousands of dollars to sponsor a race car and then just making it gray is like, what are you doing? With a it's box like, of your logo uh, on it. Ugh. Yeah. Silly. This isn't. This isn't the move. This just isn't the move. Um, maybe though. I wonder if they're gonna add color back to it later in the year. I hope so. If they if they literally go to the old Clint Boyer thing, it'll be great. Yeah. Um. So the Briggs Plus car. Um. Kind of like what we were talking about the Lumar Nine. If it had a white number, it looks exactly like this. I don't You're know. right. Yeah. And I I oppose this strongly on Twitter. And people were like, oh, but like Bill Elliott ran a plain red car. The old Evernham Dodges were plain red. But like, Fine. it's Sponsored 2024. Cars. Like you're going to put Denny Hamlin in a plain red car with literally a Windows default font. Like that's just Rockwell, just written on the side, brakes plus. I'm I'm not interested in all in whatever they're selling. It's apparently it's yeah. like a branch of the Maves tires like company. Apparently, that car was like not horrible last year. The Maves car? Uh, yeah. Do I not? I didn't have it. No, I thought I added it here. Well, I like the Maves car. Okay, I meant to put. I it thought on. it was alright too. A lot of people on Twitter hated it, but I was, I yeah. was okay. Well, like it. my point is, just run the Maves car. Like, <laughs> like or just like make a cool yeah. one-off design. That's like I saw one that was cool on Twitter. New and interesting. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Stephen Merzlach made a great one. Yeah. Uh, uh, Apex Racing Graphics that just like whipped something up in like an hour that blew right. this out of the just water. Just put some effort in. Just put some effort in. It's unfinished. Yeah. It's a flop. I, I think for me, it's trying too hard to look like a throwback scheme. Yeah. And it's like it's, this is not throwback weekend. So I'm just like, what are you doing? That's, two teams like, thought it, it was throwback weekend. The Danica car and this yeah, car, they thought apparently. it was throwback yeah. weekend. <laughs> And again, you're paying hundreds of thousands of dollars to put your logo on a race car. And I can tell that like someone at Brakes Plus Marketing was like, I like red cars, make it a red car. And like the Gibbs yep. designer was like, I'm going to add something to this. And they're like, nah, just red, plain red car. Send it out there. I want to be done. Next, move on. It's a flop. It's a right. huge flop. Big flop. So here's both of Denny Hamlin's like most I guess primary scheme, sports clips, and FedEx. And I didn't realize this, but they are kind of the same paint scheme with the gradient. Just being, well, the gradients are in different places, which is kind of weird. But um, I really like these cars. There's some parts of the cars I don't like. Like here on the FedEx car, I hate how close the number is to like the edge of the purple. It just looks a little yeah. cramped. Squeezed. Yeah. Yeah, it looks squeezed. The sports clips car, I don't know if I'm a fan of like this white outline around the wheel. The rest I of the am. car that I looks really sick. Like that. I like the sport clips car more, especially with the gradient behind the number and a no yeah. a no outline number, if you can pull it off, bangs. And that's something that uh Blackbeard Designs who did these cars really loves. He loves doing a good no outline number. Yeah, I respect it. It looks really cool. Yeah, I like it more on the sport clips than I do FedEx. I feel like FedEx is a bit more empty and is missing yeah, maybe orange. a little something. Like, where's the orange on this car? Like, they need more orange in the front. And I feel like there's yeah. so much white on the back half, too. Like, you could put yeah. some purple back there. Like, 
Yeah, the FedEx has had better paint schemes. Like the, the one they had before was great. I, I guess they had to change it because of the new Toyota body, which we'll talk a little bit about the Toyotas and like the next few paint schemes because. Okay. Because, um, well, here's one. I mean, but the reason I put the interstate cars is, I mean, they obviously look great. I don't know if they're my favorite interstate cars because, you know, red numbers are cool. I like the ones like in 2011 where it was like a white base. Um, these are cool. I also just kind of want to have a conversation of, can we just like have one driver have this for most of the season? <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah, I, I know they're on like Denny's car for like one race and I feel like Truex is the same. Like that's like one race. I feel like if anything, they're like mostly it's, on the Gibbs car. Yeah, it's, it's my put Gibbs it all car. in Gibbs. I, to like just try and build a relationship a brand with the one driver yeah i think the problem is I, just like every single driver has a big primary sponsor attached to them because jgr has always been good yeah. with their partners but like kyle bush always had m ms and then interstate batteries for like that's true 10 8 races or something so i think it would work with monster and interstate i have opinions on interstate batteries i'm so glad they're not running the horrible zebra cars anymore oh my god i oh, forgot yeah. about that oh, oh those oh. were bad those are so bad so many years Awful. they ran wow. those and now they've switched to like the lightning thing which i think is objectively like awesome yeah but they need to figure out what they're doing with the numbers because the first year they ran this they brought the design back and it had white numbers on the side red numbers on the roof and then they went white numbers everywhere and then they went red numbers everywhere and then halfway through the season they switched to putting white numbers on the side and now We've got white numbers with a green outline, which is invisible. And then uh, I don't know. Make them red. Red with a big red numbers. Outline. I think you make it red just because that's the classic look. Like it's one of those iconic paint schemes of NASCAR. You should just make it red. Just it also kind of like bounces off the red on the hood because there's exactly. no other red on the side of the mm -hmm. car. Yep. I agree. I concur. I concur with your opinion. <laughs> Um, but yeah, cool. And again, the Toyota body, I've really warmed up to the Toyota body and like some of, well, not this one. There's another Ooh. Christopher Bell, Christopher Bell scheme. I like this is not one of them. <laughs> it's not bad. I, I feel like there's a lot of people hating on this when it first and came I am out. one of them. <laughs> okay. I, it is still literally better than the, the plain DeWalt car because that thing looks so bad nowadays. And I think like putting it, Putting the like kind of grayish black interstate on the side, I feel like they did a good job. Like compared to other half and half paint schemes, like some of the the Stuart Haas ones back in the day, I had problems <laughs> with. Cute. This is I love a half and half. Like when I feel like this is a, a pretty well done half and half. To be honest, I really I don't like I, it. I just can't. I really don't like it. I think it is executed well, but I just don't think you're ever gonna make it look good with these two yeah. sponsors. I think. Like the, these two sponsors, it's bright yellow and bright green, and they're just kind of clashing. Yeah. Like, you can only do so yeah. much. Like, yeah, there's only so much you can do. Like, one of them is going to have to give up their color, which obviously, you know, that's not going to happen. But do either of you think this would look good with Ream instead of DeWalt? Or would it still kind of I be mean, weird? It would look better because I feel like the red, just color three wise, isn't yeah. really clashing as much. And then also, I think it'd be better. They won't have a bunch of lightning bolts. It'll probably just be like one red stripe, like what they did last year at Phoenix, I guess. I mean, the Dewalt nose also doesn't help. The like weird white gray thing they have going on, the black stuff. Okay. I also have no idea what's going on with the roof numbers. Like, what are they doing? What happened? Oh, oh it has a weird that shadow. Bad. What are yeah, they doing? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. They've been doing that in the Dewalt cars. I don't know why. I don't like that it's not like centered. Do they have they been, have yeah. they been putting sponsors on the top lately? Yeah, but they still have this weird like drop yeah, giant outline thing. Drop shadow. Yeah, they put sponsors I mean, on the top since like 2013, since the Gen 6. Okay. The 20 also has like four too many outlines on it. Like if it was literally a plain white 20 with a black outline, I think it'd go way harder. Yeah. There's been better Dewalt cars, and to run this at the biggest race of the Way year better. is just such a, like, why? Why? Why are we doing this? Mm -hmm.